I'm Meg and I'm here with Meredith and we're from So Liberated. We're going to talk about styling cropped tank tops today because we are releasing a pattern or we have released a pattern called the Songbird Tank Top, Songbird Crop Top. It also comes in a full length view. Full length view. Um, so anyway, let's talk a little let's bit about, about that it. before we get going. So Meg and I both made the cropped view because we're, we're cropped tank girls. We're, yeah, we are. We live in North Carolina, it's hot here, but I think all of our ways that we've styled it in this video, you could use the full length tank top if you are not a midriff bearing person. And I'm bar I'm barely a midriff bearing person because I like I have a very short torso, so the crop works super great for yes. me. Yeah, so it might not <laughs> it's be right as cropped on thing. you, yeah. <laughs> which is totally fine. But I think either of you um, is a really versatile piece that you can wear with a lot of stuff. Absolutely. And it's easy to sew. It's so fast it's to so sew, y'all. It's like, so fast. It's a little addictive. Um, I, I have plans to make a swimsuit version, and eventually yeah, we're, we will um, we will link to the blog post on how that to, it, once that exists. Once it exists, <laughs> we'll put it in there, and you can make your own swimsuit top as well yes. with this pattern. And I'm actually wearing in this video as we speak the on the fold hack of the Songbird tank top. So the so. original pattern has this little ruched elastic mm -hmm. detail here, which is very fun. Um, but you can also very easily I really take this wanted to use this rib knit, and yes. the rib knit does not hold the gathers very well, so Judith came up with this great hack. And I'm, I mean, I barely even call it a hack. It's so easy. It's so fun. And then it's actually probably five minutes faster, because you don't have yeah. to do the elastic. Yeah, I, I'd say ten minutes faster. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go into how we've styled our tank tops. All right, first up, I am wearing my Songbird tank top with an estuary skirt. And Estuary is so, so wonderful and versatile. It has elastic in the back waist, so it lasts you in your, like in your closet. It just has this um, staying power because it, it just, you know, it's I think easy I have to fit. An Estuary I made when I test sewed it before I even worked here yes. that I have had since then. Yes. So I, apologies, I do not know even what this fabric is. I want to say a Cupro, but again, I've had it since for right. like a, for five years at least. Right. Um, and the Estuary is great. It has the fun angled pockets mm -hmm. and nice deep pockets. And there's another view as well without the patch pockets. They have um, inseam pockets. Yeah. Um, so I love it here with a very fun boot. These boots, because I know you're going to ask, are from Charlotte Stone. Um, I got them to wear to a wedding last year, and I, I wear them with some regularity. They're surprisingly comfortable. I love the color blocking in this outfit. Yes, like it's I very... think it works really well because it's sort of three brights, but then the blue you're wearing is a little bit softer, so it brings it down just a, just a little bit. It's a little Easter egg like yeah. chic, I have yeah. to say. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it's like you picked. Tints of those colors that are a little less Eastery, so yeah. it looks very modern. Yes. Yeah, the mustard. Got to go with the yeah. mustard. Yeah. A, yeah. <laughs> um, and I have also styled my Songbird tank top with a skirt, but I chose the gypsum skirt, another one of our skirt patterns that I think has a lot of staying power. Yes, for sure. Um, and this is in a Cairo linen, which I believe they have at U Fibers. Um, and I chose a pink shoe to do like sort of pink, orange, pink. I like feel like a peach when I wear this outfit. I like to be inspired by fruit in yes. my styling and color choices. I think that it has a slightly different silhouette than styling it with the estuary, but yeah. both are really easy. Yeah, the crescent pockets to... are very fun. Mm -hmm. little They're very deep. You can fit a lot in them. Um, yes, you can also put kittens in these pockets. Yes. Very, very, very big pockets. A whole skein of yarn. Maybe two. Or three. Even. Yeah. Four, yeah. <laughs> a lot of yarn, a lot of kittens. Yes. yes. I love wearing my tank under my petrichor, and the petrichor pinafore is a very versatile pattern because you can wear it over a lot of things, yes. right? It has a lot of, a lot of ease, um, and so I love wearing wearing it over my crop top in the summer. You could also wear it over the longer songbird top, mm -hmm. but you can wear it over a long sleeve tee yeah. or even even like a, a lightweight sweater. Oh yeah, I think you definitely could. It's yeah. definitely roomy enough. The arm, yeah. armhole is low enough. So super layerable. And yes. we have two other sort of pinafore-y Yes, I styled mine with the penny pinafore, um, which is another of our patterns in collaboration with Specs and Keeping. Yes. Uh, and I like how the cross crisscross straps on the back look over the crop tank. I think it's really, it's like a sweet, fun detail, kind of a surprise mm -hmm. when you turn around. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I also styled it under our studio tunic. And I did lengthen this studio tunic, I want to say about three or four inches, mm -hmm. because I knew I would wear it more as a dress. 
Okay. Um, and it's great over, over the cropped yes. songbird tank top too. Breezy. So three options if you are wanting the pinafore kind of style to wear over your songbird yes. tank top. So next up I have, I'm wearing my Songbird tank top with my Slim Hack Aeronite pants. These are pants I, have, I made six years ago. I took them with me on a month long trip to Europe as part of a 10 piece capsule. And I just, I've worn them so much. They are, the linen has aged so well. They are very soft. They're almost, they're really, they could be loungewear now. Nice. You know, they, they are so, yeah. they are that soft. Um, but a very easy thing to just throw on mm -hmm. if you're like, I don't know what to wear, what to wear, you know? Like, yeah, it's just like a little bit different and more fun than just throwing it on with a pair of jeans. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I love, I love your Slim Hack Aaronites. And you can find that hack on the Celebrated blog. Yes. Um, and I am styling my Songbird tank top with my Bubi Chanterelle pants. This is a red pair that my mom made me. I have a lot of mom-made clothes. Your mom is an excellent she sewist. She's an amazing sewist. Um, I want to say it probably took her like an hour. She's so fast. But I really love the bright pop of red with my white tank. I think it's a really clean yes. look. And I styled it with my high tops for sort of a more fun streetwear vibe. Mm -hmm. And I think you can see how the Slim Hack Aaronite pants and the Bubi Chanterelle have a similar silhouette with some slight differences. So it sort of just depends on your personality, what you prefer, but if you want it ready ready to go for you or if you want to do the hack. Right. Right? Like if you if you want to do some pattern work and a challenge, then yeah. the Aeronite Slim Hack is great. A lot of people have made it, but but if you want to just pull it pull it out the and it off, the Yeah, and if you're a, a fan one. of things that Meredith's mom does, she also designed us some a Barbie <laughs> yes, pattern some Barbie for the Chanterelles and the estuary. Yes. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you can find that on our blog as well. So if you're into Barbie make, doll clothes making, yeah. then yeah, yeah, check that out. And another option for this are the Chanterelle View A's, which are the wide leg yes. silhouette. And this really takes the, the Songbird tank top up a notch. I, I feel agree. like it like elevates the look a little bit. Yeah, and the white leg just has more... some drama. Yeah, definitely some drama. Although these ones, these ones I call them my circus pants. So they're perhaps like, you know, not super fancy, but you can imagine if you made them in like a black linen that you could wear that this sort of look, um, you can transition it from, let's see, I don't know. I, I don't do, I don't like leave the house very yeah, often. I do like day so like, looks that often. <laughs> but I feel like if you were night, going, I actually looks. feel like it would be a great first date outfit for the summer, like. Sure, gosh, it's been like 23 years since I've had a first date. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a couple of years for me. <laughs> anyway, Meredith says, it would, be, it would be a good first date outfit. It would be a good first date outfit. Yes. Um, or like if you're going to like a summer party. Oh, and, yeah. and followed, followed uh, quickly with the same sort of vibe, but with again, like even maybe a little more elevated, which are Helen's Closet's Winslow Kulas. And I've had these for like six or seven years. Also, this yeah. is, they're, in a, they're in a Mora Slub Linen Blend, which is very- It's like very silky. Very silky. Yeah. So they're all, it's almost like a maxi skirt, to be honest. Yeah, but I think, I always feel like when I'm wearing a jumpsuit that people think is a dress and I can be like, ooh, it's pants. It's like yeah, such a fun moment. Yeah, Meredith, like you'll see her and she'll like, she'll be doing these like legs out kicks oh, like, hey, hey, hey I'm wearing pants. pants. So I think the Winslow Cool Outs give that, that fun yeah. moment, yeah. fun fashion yeah. moment. Okay, my next outfit is my tank top with the Chanterelle shorts. Um, this is like, a perfect outfit for a North Carolina summer. It is yes. so hot here yeah. um, that you want to sort of be wearing the least amount possible. Wear it for a hike. Like the one thing that um, I, lo I love a lot of things about these tops, I, I, I do wear them all the time, but um, is that when you're wearing one, it comes with a built-in uh, bra. Yes. So it's like a shel shelf bra. And it, it means that you don't have to bother with an extra layer. Right. If, if you're it's like me high. and you feel more or less like you need to wear a bra, like just for comfort, right. um, then it's, it's really great. Yes, I agree. And that's why it would be great for like a hike or even I could see wearing it with yoga pants. Oh yes, I, have, I can vouch for that. I have worn uh, my Songbird tops to yoga and they work excellent. There you go. Yeah, I would say low impact athletics. Yes. And another two-piece vibe with a totally different silhouette is the Songbird top with the Arthur pants. And the Arthur pants, this is the elastic waist version. There's also a zipper fly version with a flat waistband in the front and the elastic waist back. So they're still 
to totally comfortable versatile. Yes. This is if you are going for drama. It's definitely like a streetwear vibe. Mm -hmm. if, the, if you choose it in a fabric, choose to make it in a fabric that has a little more structure to it, mm -hmm. like this version of mine that I'm wearing is a cotton. Yeah. And if you were to make it, say, in a linen blend, then they would drape and flow a little more. But I ought, like I prefer to make my Arthur's in a more so structured, more structured. Yeah, yeah, fabric. Yes, yeah, so you really get that sort of like curved silhouette. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's fun. fun. It's pretty dramatic. Yes, yes. And my next outfit is a loungewear look. I made this pair of chanterelle sweatpants, which is a hack you can find on our blog. And I think it's great with the songbird tank top. I could see me wearing around this around the house all the time because. When I wear loungewear, I don't want to feel like I just got out of bed. I don't want to feel like I'm wearing pajamas because then I find it hard to be a productive person in the world. Again, <laughs> like it's, it's, the, the, it's the ma the secret sauce of like the shelf the the, the shelf bra. Right. So like you're gonna open up your front door and say hi to your mail carrier, right. you know, without being like, oh, I'm wearing my pajamas, but yeah. you actually are. Yeah. So I I like it with my chanterelle sweatpants. I think. Yeah, like we said, it's just elevated loungewear. Yes. Yes. And. and we aren't going to show it here, but like we said, it goes great with yoga pants. Yes. Um, I love them with some flares too. That's super fun. And finally, my last outfit with a songbird top, I'm pairing it with my um, sort of bell bottomy jeans. And these are just thrifted jeans and topped it with um, a cotton knit that I made last summer. It's the Vacation Vest by Park Knit. And this is Again, like I feel like I'm wearing it as a bra, like functionally as a bra, but as you can see with this vacation vest, I mean like the arm the armholes cut like they go down it's pretty, pretty open. Low. Like yeah. like you definitely need to I mean you don't need to, but like I need I want to wear something, something under it. it. Sure. And and the songbird top is perfect for that. Um, and I just love the sort of seventies vibe Very of this of this whole look. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. Yeah, and my last outfit is the Songbird tank top with my Otis overalls. This is another collaboration with Specs and Keepings. Um, and like the Penny Pinafore, I love the crisscross back detail and the little they gathering. They are sibling patterns, they are. the Penny Pinafore yeah. and the Otis overalls. Now these Otis's, you opted not to make the I did not pockets. do the kangaroo pocket on the front. They actually come with, is it like six pockets? Yeah, they it's have inseam pockets, pockets and back pockets. So I just didn't put the kangaroo pocket on the front because that's just not my style. And your linen is very, it's like a very drapey yeah, linen. Yeah, this is Brussels so washer linen. Yeah. So I just didn't think it would hold yeah, yeah. the tuck super well. Um, yeah, and actually my mom made me this pair as well. <laughs> Another mom made, mom made pair. Uh, Meredith does sew her yes. own clothes I do, too. I sew a lot of clothes. How many but, clothes do you have? Like, cause your mom makes you clothes too. I feel like I have a reasonable Enough. amount. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I have more than you. Like your boyfriend doesn't store clothes in the extra closet, but you do, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he has a few things in there. Yeah. <laughs> but it's mostly it's mostly me yeah. that has stuff in there. Um, you know, I think sometimes my mom wants to sew something, and she's like, I don't know if I would wear this, so I'll sew it for Meredith. Aww, so this video was that. sponsored by Cindy. Sponsored by <laughs> Meredith's mom. Let's get a nice picture of her up here. She's she also she's she's one of our uh, testers, yes. pattern testers as well, and. Uh, an occasional model for us when yes. we are lucky enough to have her. And an occasional blog anyway. post writer. Yes. So if you love the Songbird tank top and you want to sew one for yourself because you will wear it all summer long and even all spring and summer and maybe some even in the winter, you can find it at Sew Liberated's website. It comes with the Songbird skirt. Yes. It's a lovely pairing, a festival look. Um, and you can find the link in the notes. Yeah, if you enjoyed this styling video and seeing us put together some different outfit formulas, you might like the Mindful Wardrobe Project where we have a bunch of outfit formulas and there's an online community where you can get inspiration mm -hmm. from your fellow students and post outfits of the day. Yes, it's a self-paced styling course, but without the consumption and the... Yeah. Yeah. It's really about building through like a holistic process a closet that you love and that brings you joy when you get dressed. Because loved clothes last. last. Yeah. So we'd love to see you in the Mindful Wardrobe Project. You can find out more information about that on our website as well.
Thanks everybody. If you enjoy these kind of styling videos and sewing how-tos, subscribe to our channel and we look forward to making more of these for you.